Like the Energizer Bunny, she <laughs> just keeps going and going. The old Cootier coming at you with a 73, oh my God, 73 hours. I put him in at 3.30 three days ago. So three days, let me set this up. This is the 73 hour challenge, right? I filled these up with ice and water. Basically, I filled each one of them up to ice until basically the, the collar right there or the end of the lip. Then I tapped it off with regular tap water, cold, all that good stuff. So each one of them had these three, at least the, what is it? What are these? 36 ounces, 32 ounces. These all had the same amount of ice and water. This one is an 18 ouncer, but basically I did the same process. Ice and then water kept it off. Oh my God. If you've been following along in this, in this video playlist of which water bottle shall reign supreme, right? Bicycling, camping, backpacking, hiking, sporting events. You know, think of all the possibilities that you would use these things. It's amazing that one of them has gone this far and still maintains a cold temperature. So we're going to we're going to check that right now. I got room temperature at 72.5. This is my Thermo Pro digital meat thermometer. Thank you Thermo Pro for making such a great product. Oh, look at this. Automatic shut off, but when you touch it, then it comes back on again. So how cool is that? So this one, if you've been following along, I'm convinced is either a fake, it's a knockoff, it's a you know discount store knockoff of the original, or this might be like a version one. You know, if you want to go ahead and comment down below in the comment section, if you notice this part of the collar looks different than this part on this one. So this is the real deal, right? Bought this from a reputable place. By the way, if you're looking at purchasing any of these, Click the links down below in the description section for a link to these. Better to buy from a reputable source than to get a knockoff, <laughs> as mentioned before. Anyways, here's digital meat thermometer. We're going to go ahead and do our baseline. This one I'm convinced is the knockoff because this one failed first. But I just want to get what room temp water is like. Right, so there you go. 70.2 degrees. 70 degrees or so. I'm just going to move it around once or twice to kind of get just that baseline. Okay, there we go. So now this one, these two, the Hydro Flask and the Joy Jolt have been performing the best. The Joy Jolt a little bit better. But let me go ahead and test this one and see how this one's been doing. I mean, can you believe that? 57.6 degrees. So 20, almost, you know, 15 degrees or what is that? 13 degrees cooler than just having it at room temperature. These were all sitting in a corner of my kitchen that got the same amount of daylight, the same amount of nighttime, you know, all things equal. So 57.7 is your baseline for this one. I'm gonna do this one last just to show you, because I, I know this is gonna be low. But this is the cycling deal, right? This is their, you know, you put this on you know, like your e-bike or your bicycle, you know, anywhere where you can do that kind of attachment. It is a uh, double wall. This one was rated for 24 hours. Guess what? It's been going like it's, this one did good up until 48 hours. And then it kind of started falling off, but still doing good. I mean, 66, you're about, what is that? Uh, four degrees cooler than the room temp water, right? So 666, what an omen, as opposed to our room temp water, right? Which is 69.8. So about three degrees. Yeah. Like three, 3.3 3 degrees, something like that cooler. So that's the cycling deal. And then here's the winner of the show. Let's see what we're at on this baby. Gonna give it a chance to go. I mean, look at that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. 22 degrees cooler than the room temp water. The joy jolt triple, what they're calling it is triple insulated vacuum sealed and believe me, I think it's worth every penny. So if you're curious about buying one of these based on temperature alone, I mean, that is ridiculous that the Joy Jolt is 22 degrees cooler than, you know, now I'm calling this one the uh, the one on the end, our, our control test thermo temp, you know, or temperature baseline. So that's 22 degrees. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculous. Anyways. There it is, 73 hours later. I think as far as I'm concerned, the, the testing on this one and this one is pretty much over. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into a spill test because I'm sure this thing will probably go at least another day. And honestly, I could leave it for, I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment in the comment section down there below. Should I let it go one more day and see how many days it'll go before this comes up to room temp? 
I don't know. Comment down below. Anyways, check out the description section down below for a link to all four of these. I will put links or at least a link to these three, right? Because that one I know is that this one I know is a knockoff. But there's your Hydro Flask. There's your Hydro Flask. There's your Joy Jolt. And then there is your cycling deal. By the way, real quick, just to bring up to speed with the caps as well, the caps. So this was their sippy cap. They also have a straw cap that goes with the cycle deal. I just chose this one because I chose that one. This one is the uh, sippy cap as well. This also comes with a separate straw cap where you can, you know, kind of similar to this one to the hydro flask. But I chose that one. That's just the way we did it. This one happens to be the straw right? The, the straw cap attachment. This one, you have to specify if you want the regular cap, which this one I think is still the knockoff one or first generation. Maybe, maybe that's why it failed. And then, or you can choose that one obviously or whatever, but that's how we did. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another test. Stay tuned for the next video in this series where I'm just going to, I'm just going to dump it upside down and see which one drips or leaks or whatever. We're going to do that test. I'm going to recap all of them and then hold for five seconds and we'll see what happens. I'm going to apply the same amount of tightening pressure on each one and we'll be back with that video soon. But clearly by far the winner of this challenge for temperature, just temperature alone has got to be the joy jolt, right? Second place would go to the height, the true hydroflask, the original third place would go to the cycling deal. And then fourth place would go to obviously your knockoff or your first generation gen one, whatever you want to call it water bottles. Anyways, with that being said, the old coot, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below. Check out the description section down there below for some links to some pretty cool products. And I will catch you all on the next exciting video review.